Well, the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics uh, are over, but at least one story of inspiration put forth by an Indiana athlete should last a lifetime. Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports. Bill. Gary, thank you. As he was a state champion caliber sprinter at Hamilton Southeastern School in Fishers in 2015 when his vision began to deteriorate in a rapid and significant manner. But Noah Malone never lost sight of his goals. Not only did he eventually win an ISSA state championship in 2019, but this past month, he returned from the Paralympics in Tokyo with a gold and two silver medals, and he's currently enrolled and competing at Indiana State University. And it's my honor to welcome Noah to the program. And uh, welcome, sir, how you doing? I'm doing good, thank you so much for having me. Well, and it's, it's great to have you. Uh, we'll talk about your condition here uh, in, in a moment. I just wanted to get your general feelings uh, about the Tokyo experience with the Paralympics and the success you had. You would have won, it took two world records to beat you in the 100 and 400 meters, and then you uh, got the gold medal on the, on the relay team, but uh, what a fantastic experience. Talk about that if you would, Noah. Fantastic. Yeah, to say the least, it, I really cannot even put that experience in the word. Um, you know, I, that was my fourth international trip, and the past three honestly don't even compare to Tokyo. Um, I was over there for about 27 days. We were out of Air Force Base for the first 10, and then we transitioned into the village. And every single day was something special, like competing in that big state. Even with no fans, it was still amazing, like competing in that big stadium. I had six total races, so you know I was able to race six different times at that stadium, and it was special every single time. I cannot compare to any school meet, any any type of meet I've ever been into. So uh, it was great. The culture there was great too. So can't complain at all. Well, uh, this all began uh, in your early teens when you were in, in school, and you suddenly had trouble uh, focusing on what was being written on on the chalkboard and a further test to discover that you had a condition called Le Le Lieber's hereditary optic neuropathy. And uh, the result was you have a 2400 vision in your left eye, 2600 in your right eye, but the, nonetheless, you continue to use track and competing as your inspiration. And as, as I mentioned, you won that IHSA 200 meter uh, race in 2019, but uh, what a, uh, an unbelievable story uh, and uh, that you've, uh, and path that you followed to this point. Thank you, it definitely has been a journey. Um, all six years, because I lost my vision in 2015, like you said, so almost six years to the to the month, it would have been August of 2015. So it's been a long process, you know, getting introduced to para sports, um, you know, down the line, going to the blind school and HSC at the same time being dual enrolled. So there's been different experiences, different lessons I've learned. Um, but, you know, it all has come to create, you know, the person I am today. So I'm thankful for every single step. I've been able to take. Well, Noah, and you've written you've written a book of your about your experience losing vision, not dreams. Uh, it's really an outstanding read, and I would suggest that any Thank youngster you. facing challenges uh, would benefit by by reading this. What, what what was the motivation behind that? Honestly, the motivation behind that was just to give hope to people who uh, are going through something at such a young age. You know, that was really what I was aiming at because when I was thirteen. I probably would have loved to have a, a book or anything to just just to see that somebody else is going through the same thing as me. And that would definitely give me more hope. So the goal with this and the purpose behind this was just to put a message behind the book and a message out there in general to anybody, not even just youngsters, but you know, if you're going through something, just find something to motivate you. And honestly, it would make the hard situation better. That's what it happened to me. So that was really the main purpose behind the book. No, we got less than a minute to, to wrap up. What's ahead? You're competing for Indiana State University, one of the only, maybe the only or one of the very few legally blind runners competing in NCAA Division I. And I know you're looking ahead to further uh, Paralympics competitions, uh, most notable, notably Paris in 2024. Talk about what's next. Yeah. As of now, I'm just catching up on all the schoolwork I've kind of been uh, behind on. But 
like you said, just competing for ISU in this next upcoming school season. Um, that'll lead me into Worlds, World Championships uh, next year in Kobe, Japan, August of next year. So right now I'm just kind of settling into the campus and um, going to class like a normal student. And then in a few months, I'll go back to training and, you know, just get under underway with the school season. So that's about it, you know, just taking every day by by day pretty much. Well, Noah, again, thanks for coming on the program. A, a wonderful story of inspiration, and we wish, wish you nothing but the best in what's to come in the months of the years ahead. Noah Malone, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. And Gary, back to you.